Today we go over the Femoray EXP90 X47 Full Copper. This is a 47mm air cooler part of their low profile lineup. I have reviewed and gone over the X47 and X53 Black Edition, which is a mostly aluminum cooler. This is mostly copper with nickel plating. I promise to review this cooler before I move on to other projects such as my upcoming video about 3D mods for the Forum T1. I have decided to skip over the unboxing process as I have a full dedicated video to unboxing and installation of the X47 Black, which is the same exact process. This full copper variant has the iconic red and orange fan. I am personally not a fan of the color, but it's still very recognizable. You'll definitely notice the weight difference between this and the black variant. This cooler with fan is 520 grams, more than 50% more than the black variant, which is 310 grams. The biggest difference besides the color and weight is the cooling capabilities. This is rated for CPUs with a TDP of 145 watts or lower versus 135 on the black variant. One of the best features of this cooler is the retention clips. It makes installation super easy and fast and requires less screws. Again, this goes for all models. Um, I just forgot to mention it in previous videos. You can really feel the weight difference. It gives you confidence in its cooling capabilities. Since I'm not a huge fan of the orange and red, I switched to the black version for looks. Later, I'll show benchmarks and sound examples with the Noctua NF-A914, a popular replacement option for this cooler. One difference I would suggest is to use the shorter Intel screws if you're using a sandwiched out case like the Form T1. They will not interfere with the riser cable behind the motherboard as much. Out of the box, you will find a cooler comes pre-installed with LJ1700 Mounty hardware. I'm using the AMD Ryzen 9 7900X which requires the AM5 mounting kit. In this clip, I'm using some black parts from another kit for the black look even though you don't really see it. The mounting kit for this cooler is a mostly polished silver color. I find the easiest way to install the cooler is to leave the screws inside the holes and fasten the AM5 brackets from underneath. Be sure to not over tighten the screws or strip the screws. This is where most of the pressure will sit. Then fasten the mounting screws with your hands until tight. This design really helps you install the cooler into the motherboard much easier. Just be sure to not over tighten. When I first started this channel, I had a full tube of Arctic Silver 6, and now I'm down to a quarter. I think um, I've used too much. <laughs> I mentioned how I was going to skip over the installation process, but here I am, going over it. Place the cooler through the backplate holes and ensure it's level. This helps to distribute the thermal paste. Flip over the board and install the nuts via the thumb fastener tool and apply even pressure in the X pattern. I do think it is a downside of the cooler as it requires you to pull the motherboard out of the case. However, this is far easier to install than the Noctua L9A. Tidy up your board and install the 4-pin PWM cable. I find it easy to wrap the cable around the bottom at the base of the cooler to help get the cables out of the way. For this test, I used a 7mm Noctua fan duct with the 3D print pegs from EGA. This helps funnel the air from outside the case to not recycle warm air from inside. I'll go over more about these pegs in the upcoming video, and I will link the files in the description. I put the stock 92mm fan up against the Noctua NF A914. Many people using this cooler opt to use the Noctua for its quiet and robust performance. For the purpose of benchmarking, I compared the results between the stock TL9015L and the NF A914 HS. Let's get into the benchmarks.
As you've just seen, the X47 Full Copper is extremely competitive, offering great performance in a small package. I'm currently editing this video, which I transcoded from H.265 4K 10-bit 422 log to ProRes 422 using Adobe Media Encoder. Encoding and decoding is a spicy process. Next, I'll play the fan noise samples between the two fans in various configurations. Please adjust your volume accordingly. What I found after testing these two fans is that the Thermorite stock fan is extremely great at moving air, beating the Noctua at times, however, it is louder than the Noctua. You honestly can't go wrong with either of these options with X47 full copper. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content.